What's going on YouTube? My name is Sheens, bringing you guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you smash that like button for me, click that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously guys, can't thank you guys enough for all the support that has been going out with these videos. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. But, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with a Toxapec team right here. We're rolling out with a Black Sludge Toxapec, which we can actually stall a lot with. It's rocking Substitute, Recover, Toxic, and Scald. So if we can get the Toxics off, we can kind of stall out. We can just stall them out, let the Toxics do its work, take out enemies. Then we're rocking a Leftovers Iron Barb Ferrothorn right here. This thing is an absolute unit right here. I love Ferrothorn, definitely, and Toxapec. They're one of my two favorite Pokemon. I love them so much. Then we got a Mago Berry Grim Snarl, Rock and Bulk Up and Light Screen in case we want to place that Light Screen, stop some special attack hits, and then we can bulk up and set up if we need to. Then we got our Fire Rotom with its Citrus Berry. We got our Rocky Helmet Hippowdon right here. Dude, Hippowdon's an absolute unit, dude. I love rocking them with themes. Then we got the Focus Sash Mold Breaker Hexers that can tee off on Mimikyu's and all that good stuff, like Mimikyu's SQ's, and just counter them so hard. So guys, if you do like this team, or you like the way it looks, or you just want to try it out for yourself, the rental code is on the bottom of the screen. I will leave links to everything in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Match number one coming at you guys. This guy's rocking an NDD, Mimikyu, Cloyster, Rotom, Wash, Corviknight, and a Dragon Ball. Wow. Scary looking team right here. Scary looking team. We are definitely bringing our Haxorus here, our Mold Breaker Haxorus. For that Mimikyu, I think he's going to roll out here. We're definitely bringing our Rotom. Fire guy, too. Considering that Corviknight could come up huge on us. Do we bring that Ferrothorn is the real question. Or do we roll out with the Toxapec? Hmm. The calls, the calls, the calls. I said we roll out starting off with our Toxapec. Or do we go into our Grimmsnarl? Say no Haxorus and go Grimmsnarl, Toxapec. No. We are going to go Haxorus. We're going to lead our Toxapec. Go with Rotom, Fire Guy. And go with our Haxorus in the back end. Beautiful. I think this team... Could do some work on this guy right here. But, yo, if you guys are enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. You guys can also catch more on my Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come over there, hang out. I'm probably live right now as this video is going live. So go click that link. Come hang out. We're probably trying to push Master Tier, but this guy is going to lead with the Indeedy. Indeedy, Toxpec is going to come out here. What typing is Indeedy? That's the question. Is it just Fairy? Whoa, physical surge. Does that make the mystical veil come out? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Yeah, the battlefield got weird. We cannot roll out with the toxic right off the bat. This thing just fairy type. Let me check its little info. It is psychic and normal. So if I hit this thing, we have the physical terrain. For five turns, the power of physical type moves our boots. Okay, so it's not the uh, mystical terrain. We are going to go straight into a toxic. You give me no reason not to in DD. He's going to use the psychic. We should be able to soak this up. No problem. Even though physical attack moves are boosted, we do soak it up. Which is fine. Toxic will come out here. And we'll just, we'll just, we'll just Toxic her. Which is fine. That's fine by me. She will outspeed and actually eat us up. That is a problem. This is going to be a problem right here. This NDD is going to start murking on us. We're going to go with a little bit of Black Sludge. We're going to hope she misses and just drop right into a Recover. We're going to drop right into a Recover. Jesus, man. That Psychic did some work. Recover. Come on, miss. Come on, Pokey Gods. Come on, Arceus. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it, guys. This is our match to win. So our match to win right here. Starting off a little slow, but this poison can come up and hurt her in the long run. Let's see what she's going to do. Hopefully she hard swaps. That'd be that'd be cute. <laughs> but no way. Why wouldn't she just go for another psychic? Play it smart. Let's see. Maybe she thinks I'm going for like a baneful bunker or something. Let's see. Nope. Another psychic popping off here. Going to take us out here. Dang it, man. Bye, Toxic Spec. You did some work though, buddy. You did some work here. Which I love. I love. You got your toxic off. You did your work. He did his job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he did his job. The poison is going to start teeing off here. And we're going to actually roll out into our... We roll out into our Mold Breaker. I say we roll out into our Mold Breaker. Hexers right here. And do we start a D-Dance? I say we do D-Dance I say we do D -dance here. We're going to go straight for a D-Dance. Mold Breaker is going to pop off here. D-Dance is coming out here. Considering we are rocking that Focus Sash, we could survive a hit always. But we're going to save that Rotom just in case. Just in case. I want that Rotom chilling in the back end. Let's see. But D-Dance is going to pop out here. I'm hoping it goes for the hard swap. Does not go for the hard swap. But we do outspeed, which is perfect. D-Dance comes out, raises our speed plus one, and our attack is going to go up. So watch out. Haxorus is all on the move here. This thing's going to roll out with a Psychic. We should be able to eat that up. No problem at all. Boom. There we go. 23 damage left on us. The Toxic going to, is going to do work. And we're going to finish off this DD right here. In DD right here. 
Uh, what are we going to finish it off with? Mm, earthquake? Yeah, we're going to go with an EQ here. Start slapping up on you. What you want, fool? What you, do you want? I'm going to outspeed you. Say night-night. See you later, Ndidi. Bilp, bilp, bilp. There we go. See you later. Okay, who is he rocking out next? This Dragon Dance could be awesome for us. But we still have our... What's it called? We just have to know if we can outspeed. If we want to send out our Dynamax. Let's see. Who are you rocking? Please show me the Mimikyu. Was he rocking Mimikyu on this team? Yeah, I believe he was. Well, let's see. Let's see. Show me the Mimikyu. I will totally outspeed that thing. And go into a Max Steel Swipe. What do you got? The Mimikyu comes out and we're more breaker. Dude, this thing is done. This thing is done. Oh, no. It's going to go into a Shadow Sneak. It is going to go into a Shadow Sneak. I'm not going to waste my Dynamax. I am not going to waste my Dynamax. It will go into a Shadow Sneak. Dang it. Dang it, man. Unless it doesn't. It does not! And we get the Iron Tail off! And we one-tap it! Oh! <laughs> the Mold Breaker lets us hit through the disguise, baby! Yes! Yes, dude! I thought this thing was going to go for a Shadow Sneak. That's why I did not Dynamax. That's why I did not Dynamax. Oh, wee, dude! Hex just comes up clutch here. And now who's he going to roll out into the Dragapult here? Which could be a tough challenge for us. Which could be a tough challenge for us. This thing is going to outspeed us. We're just going to go for a Dragon Call. Maybe this thing misses. Maybe... And something happens, but... Oh, we do outspeed with our D-Dance. And we do some work. And boom, one-tap him. And just work on him with the Hexorus. That is how it's done. I'm surprised that thing didn't outspeed us. That was crazy. The Hexorus comes up clutch. And we murk that first match. Hopping into our second match. Here's guys Rocket Titar, Sylveon, Umbreon, Mimikyu, Cloyster, and Rotom Fire. I see him bringing that Sylveon in 100%. 100% that Sylveon is definitely going to be coming through. So, we're definitely going to lead our Toxic spec. That is play call. We're going to be bringing our, our Haxorus in the back end for that Mimikyu. Then I think we're going to go with our Ferrothorn. I think we're going to go with our Ferrothorn just to counter that Cloyster and potentially that um, Umbreon that comes in. It does work on the T-Tar too. So, we're, that's exactly what we're going to do. Lead this Toxic spec. Have the Ferrothorn in the back. And then our Focus Sash Haxorus coming in. Coming in hot right here. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this second match right here. We're coming off a nice, strong win with our Hexorus just murking on everybody. That was awesome, guys. We just murked on them. But, dude, I love, like, Toxapec and Ferrothorn. They're such cool Pokemon, especially with the Leftovers and the Black Sludge. You can stall a lot, especially if you get that Leech Seed off with that Ferrothorn. You can do some work. Just constant heals, constant damage going out onto the opponent. But let's go. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's see who this guy is going to lead. He's going to lead, a, what is that, a water ball? Like the Cloyster, which our Toxic Spike is going to come in here. And this thing could be rocking that Icicle, Spear, and all that stuff. Is this thing part poison? Or is this thing just water and ice? It's water and ice. We're going to roll straight into a Toxic right off the bat. Or do we roll into a Sub? Now, we're going to roll right into a Toxic, which is fine. This thing is probably rocking that move. Oh, he's going to go Shell Smash, which is fine by me. We're going to rock up a Substitute after us. This thing's going to lower its... Uh, Defense and then he's and his special defense, but raise his attack. He's gonna raise his attack, which is fine. We're definitely gonna roll into this toxic right here. And then I think we're gonna sub up. We're gonna sub up after this, soak up some hits. But this thing could be rocking out. It's probably rocking icicle spear, gonna hit us five times every single time. That's one of his is that an ability or an item that he's, I think it's an ability. But the poison is gonna come out here. Do we go into the recover besides the substitute? I think we do go into the recover instead of the substitute here. He goes a Rock Blast. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Is Rock super effective to us? This is a real question. We should have went into the sub. I know it. Okay, he's going to go into the Rock Blast. Who are we rocking out with? Rock Blast. Ferrothorn can eat it up. And then come in with a Power Whip. We're going to roll into our Haxorus right here. Or not our Haxorus. Our Ferrothorn. Let's go. Come back here. The Poison is going to do more work on him. But we will be able to eat up this Rock Blast. Let's go, Ferrothorn. Coming in hot, buddy. Rock Blast coming out here. Eat it up, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. He, he, he's going to hit five times. It's one of his uh things. His ability, I believe. But we eat that up. That is fine by me. Do we go into the Leech Seed? Do we go into the Leech Seed? Or do we just... I say we just power whip this thing. I say we just whip this thing in the next week. There's a wop by him. Is he going into an Icicle Spear, too? That's why I just said we go into the power whip. Because if not... If we don't take it out, I believe the poison will actually do some more work on it and take it out. But let's go into the power whip. This thing's defense drops, so power whip's coming out. It's coming out. He's probably going to go into an Icicle Spear. Yep, Icicle Spear's going to come out. We should be able to eat this up. Ew, this is going to be tough. This is going to be close here. This is going to be really close. Eat it up, buddy. He's got to eat up five hits. Two more. He's at 51. 
That's game. No, not game. Butterfire Thorn is out, dude. That is such a crazy thing that you can have that and hit five times every single time. It just does absolute work. It does absolute work. But Poison's going to come out here. We're going to drop into a recover here. Do we drop into a recover? Hmm. Hmm. Mold Breaker could pop out here. We are Focus Ash. It has Icicle Spear. We got to go into here. We got to go into here and go. I'm going to go straight for a recover. I'm going to go straight for a recover here. So I know it's going to hit up. Or do we go into a sub? Sub or recover? Sub or recover? We're going to go into a recover. Recover is the play call here. That thing's going to get a Rock Blast off on us. And we'll eat this up. And then we'll just recover our health back to the top. And just let the Toxic do its work. We're going to just stall this thing out. Recover will heal us all the way back up. Which is fine. Of course it gets a crit. Of course it gets a crit and gets its last shot off. But here goes a recover. Back to full health. We just need to assault on one more turn. Because this poison will take it deep down. And then the next poison should be able to kill it off. Let's go here. And then nice little black sludge. We'll heal us back up to the tippy top of our HP. Eat it, buddy. Poison coming out here hard. Poison is coming out here hard. Um, we are going to go into a uh, substitute. Do we go into a substitute? Nope. Another recover coming out. Give me a reason not to recover. Give me a reason not to recover. Rock with Icicle Spear is going to come out here. That's fine by me. We eat that up. Even better. Even better. But the poison will actually take this out. Stolen this guy, dude. Toxic is an absolute unit, guys. Absolute unit. Stolen him. Just stalling him. But we got to get this thing out the way. Like, this is the play call. We got to get this thing out of here. This thing eats up my Haxorus. Somehow, it just murked all my Ferrothorn. Like, jeez, man. Didn't even get a shot off. The thing just absolutely just slammed on him. There we go. Full health. Bye-bye, Cloyster, to the poison, which is awesome. We could set up another poison. But I love um, Toxapex's ability. It's Regenerator. So once we swap out with him, he does gain a little bit of health back, which is awesome. Let's see who he goes in with. Who he goes in with. I don't mind dropping another Toxic. I do not mind. I do not mind. We still have our Hexers in the back spot to do some more damage. So if we can get another Toxic off, potentially take out another Pokemon, that'd be nice. I feel like... He doesn't have much to counter my Toxic back. I feel like he does not, considering he wasn't swapping from that Cloyster. He was trying to take me out with that. So let's see. Sylveon does come out here, which is fine. We're going to drop another Toxic, unless this thing goes into a Mystical Veil. I'm going to say this thing does not, not a Mystical Veil, a uh, Dynamax Max Starfall. Oh, he is, dude. He is. This guy's so smart. This guy is so smart. That is exactly what he's going to do. Because if he, once he puts down this, uh, the Misty Terrain, the Toxic will not hit us. So that is the tough part. That is probably going to be the game. That is probably going to be the game because I think he's just going to roll out on my, what's it called? Our uh, Toxic pack here. Watch, here comes the Max Starfall. No, oh, Max Phantasm just come out. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there is a chance. We are going to eat that up. Get this Toxic off. I thought that was going to be game. This guy's not playing right. This guy's not playing right. Toxic coming out here. We're going to go into a max guard here. Do we Dynamax? That's a real question. Poison coming out here. Oh, we do. Toxapec is a unit. Um, What do we do here? What is the play call? Is a real question. Do we stall? I said we go for a recover. I say this thing doesn't kill us. Let's go for a recover. I don't think this thing will kill us here. We recover. Then we can Dynamax if we really want to install this thing out with max guards. Let's see. Let's see. Do we, baby? Yeah, we! We're not even gonna waste our Dynamax yet. Toxpec is an absolute unit. Recover coming out here. Oh my lord, dude. I love you, Toxpec. Dang, dude. I thought that was gonna be game, but this guy played the wrong move. If he would've went into a Max Starfall, you cannot drop a poison with that, uh, Mist that Misty around, whatever it is. I don't even know. I don't even know what to call it. The Misty Terrain. Is that what it's called? But still, it doesn't work. Um, we're going into another Recover. <laughs> This stall team mercs, dude. What do you do? Is he swapping out? He's gonna swap out here. Waste his Dynamax. Oh, he, he canceled! He canceled! <laughs> Yo, this boy canceled! Toxic Pack OP, baby. Stall monster of the century, man. <laughs> Hopping into our third match. Yo, we just stalled that guy out with our Toxic Pack. That guy is so mad. We made him hit the bounce book and get out of here. But he is rocking a Glaring Weezing, a Flygon, a Demise. Wow, Kalissapod, Rotom, and Arcanine. Crazy little team here. Pretty cool, though. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm a fan. Um, but who are we going to rock out into? Are we going to rock out in with a Grimmsnarl? Is Grimmsnarl coming in here? I think we should totally... He's going to probably rock out with that Kalissapod. 
the Clissopod is probably coming out here right off the bat. Right? Am I right? I think Glissopod's coming right off the bat. So I think we're going to roll out into our, what's called, our Rotom. I think we're going to front spot our Rotom. Have him roll in here. Where do we roll into Ferrothorn? Ferrothorn could be nice. Could be nice. Let's roll into Ferrothorn front spot. So Ferrothorn in the front spot. Roll out with our Grimmsnarl in the back end. Grimmsnarl and then... Or no, he might rock that Arcanine. So I think safe play could be Rotom. Yeah, let's go. Rotom in the front spot. Grimmsnarl, Hippowdon? No, not Hippowdon. Hmm. Rotom, Grimmsnarl, Haxorus. Yeah, let's go that. Rotom, get out there, big dog. Grimmsnarl, get in there. And we got our Focus X Haxorus coming in for this third battle. Let's see if we can keep this win streak alive. Dude, we are murking with this team. This team is so much fun. If you can tell you can get like a stall going on a team. Like this team, I don't think we can really get a stall going. It's going to be kind of tough to get it rolling. But you can just sweep opponents with a stall it might take a while it might be quite annoying but if you just want to time it just want to slow the game down you can do it but we're gonna have a rotom mirror match right here I'm gonna start off here i is he gonna switch out i might just let this guy volt switch out and rock out into a confuse ray let's do this let's do this because if we outspeed we get the confuse on him if he swap if he volt switches out we eat it up and then confuse his opponent so either way it's kind of a smart play let's see what he does let's see what he does I'd rather have him Volt Switch out so we can know what he has. Or maybe potentially confuse that and then swap, hard swap into it. And potentially get a nice quick KO right off the bat. Let's see what this guy's going to do. I can see him potentially going for a Willow Wisp. A Willow Wisp. Yep, Willow Wisp does come out. Oh, it doesn't affect us. Stupid. Stupid over here. It does not affect us. Nice, there we go. Beautiful, Confuse Ray does come out here, and now we're just going to Volt Switch out. Give me no reason not to just Volt Switch out. It is not very effective, but it could do some work. Hopefully this guy does go for a Volt Switch or a Hard Swap. That's fine. Hard Swap is fine by me, to be honest. Let's see. Or, if he goes for an attack, we could potentially get some Confuse damage. Let's see. Let's see it. Hit yourself, buddy. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now we can Volt Switch out here and go. Do we go into our Grim Snarl Barrel? Do we go into our Grim Snarl Barrel? Let's see. Let's see who we going into. Could go into a Grimmsnarl. Haxorus could come in here. Mold Breaker. Moves can be used on a target regardless of his ability. With its Mold Breaker EQ coming out here, baby. <laughs> Mold Breaker Haxorus is so good. So good, dude. I love Mold Breaker. Awesome. Awesome ability right here. Crazy how much work you can do with it. But EQ is going to pop off here. Let's see what he does. I can see him going for a Volt Switch. Let's see. And now we outspeed. And we can say bye-bye to your Rotom. Let's go, dude. That is how it's done. That is how you start off this match, baby. Let's get it. We saw our Dynamax and all of our Pokemon are full health. Let's go. Got a nice little advantage right here. Let's see who he rolls into. The Flygon is going to pop off here. We might actually hard swap out. Maybe. Let's see. We could fight. We could go right into a Dragon Claw. Let's go. We're going to go right into a Dynamax Max Wormwind. I'm not holding back here. I'm not letting him decide the, the play calls and all that. I'm going right into the Dynamax. I'm controlling this game. And we're going to try to Merc on this Flygon right here, right now. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hexter's coming out here, dude. I love when people don't notice that we're Rock and Mold Breaker on our Hexter's. Like, it comes out and says, we're Rock and Mold Breaker. <laughs> Let's see. Do we outspeed? No, this thing does outspeed us. We can eat that up. No problem. No problem. Eat that up. And now we're going to go with this Max Roman. Can we take it out? Come on, show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Boom, let's go. Like I said, I want to control this play. That's why I Dynamax right off the bat. Take out that Flygon. Now we're looking pretty. We're sitting pretty. Um, the thing is, if he Dynamax here, I think I'm I, I think I'm going to predict the Dynamax here. And then we're going to go into a Max Guard right here. Delmize is going to pop off here. We should outspeed. We should outspeed this Delmize. Right? Should outspeed this Delmize. Do we go straight for a hit, or do we max guard it? Oh, we're going to go straight for a hit. Razor defense. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. This thing's shiny. It's beautiful. Red seaweed guy. Red seaweed guy. He is going to Dynamax. This is why I was going to max guard. So we can kind of slow down his turns. You know what I'm saying? We could slow down his turns, but I think we can eat up a hit for this. And we will definitely outspeed and get the first hit off. Unless he's rocking maybe Shadow Sneak. Well, he can't use it with the Dynamax. So, beats me. Let's get it, dude. We are rocking out here, dude. Nice little dude. Ah, I'm really, I'm really liking how I've been playing. I really like how I've been playing. 
Let's go. Get this max shield spike off. We're going to raise your defense. Do a nice little bit of damage against this Delmize. And if we can eat up a turn, I'm just going to uh, max guard it. Fine by me. Max Panthers is going to pop off. Can we eat it up? Let's see. Ooh we Let's go. We do outspeed, so we might as well just go for the hit. Not max guard. That would, that would be dumb. Let's go into... We don't really want to raise our defense. I mean, raise our attack. I mean, we could drop a special defense. Now, we're going to go right into a max worm win. Considering our only special defense Pokemon is our Rotom. This is fine. This is fine by me right here. Go to the max worm win. Do some more damage. Let's go. Let's go. We still have two Pokemon left. He is going to take us out right here. And we're just eating up his Dynamax turns. We're legit eating up his Dynamax turns. This thing is rocking max steel spike. So, I do not want to go into my Grimmsnarl. I do not want to go into my Grimmsnarl right off the bat. That sounds like a bad play. That really does sound like a bad play. He's going to raise his defense. Plus, if we go into a Grimstar, his defense is up. His defense is up. And he could potentially just knock us out. So, we're going to go into our Rotom and maybe drop an Overheat or Volt Switch. Let's go. We're going to drop an Overheat. It's super effective. Once we get a hit, it's game. Once we get a hit, and we should outspeed, right? Rotoms are pretty, pretty speedy little Pokemans. So we should get the outspeed. Let's go for it. Let's go for this Overheat. See if we can end this match right here, right now. What you want? Come on, Rotom. Show me the outspeed, buddy. There it is. There's the outspeed. Oh, my. Dude. We missed. Okay, but we eat up this. I was going to say, if we really lose this game off of this, it's rigged. It is rigged. <laughs> that would be unreal. Like, we missed that attack. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. Over here coming out again. That should be the game. GG. Let's go. Over here coming out here. Game over. Let's rock out here. This team is crushing it, baby. This team is crushing it. And we get a crit just to rub it in this dude's face. Just to rub it in this dude's face. Let's get it. But let's hop into our fourth and final battle with this team. Hopping into the final battle. This guy's rocking Rotom, Wash, Strike, Pulp, Gyarados, Arcanine, Hydreigon, and a Tux Pack. Ooh. Ooh, we. Who do we rock out with first? Who are we rocking out with first? We're definitely going to probably rock out with that Rotom. I think my Rotom is going to pop out in that first spot. Dude, this could be so tough. This could be so tough. Because I think he's going to lead his Rotom. <laughs> this is crazy. Or do we lead our Ferrothorn? He could lead his Arcanine too. Who are we going to play here? Um, we're going to play our Hip Paladon. Our Hip, our Hip Paladon is going to come into this battle. Could be very, very, very strong here. Uh, so Hip Paladon's coming in here. I think we're going to roll out with the Grimmsnarl here too. So Grimmsnarl is going to come in. And then... I say we lead our Toxapec, because if we go Toxapec and beat Toxapec, I don't really mind, but... Mm. Or do we go with the, what's it called? The Rotom, instead of Toxapec. Or no, let's go Ferrothorn. Let's go Ferrothorn in the front spot. Hit Paladon getting some love in this match, and we get the Grimstone all rock in the back spot, and then we hit done. Let's go, let's roll out, and try to complete this win. I want to get this win right here. I want to get this win right here. I want to have a good match, though. I want to have a good match. <laughs> but I feel like I'm playing very well with this team. Like, it is definitely a team that has a different learning curve than most because it, it is a stall team. Because you can stall with that Ferrothorn and that Toxic Pack very, very well. But, yes, we did lead the Ferrothorn the Ferrothorn, because I can't see him. Oh, you lucky biscuit. You lucky biscuit, dude. Lead him with that Arcan. I thought he was going to go with that Toxic Pack, man. Intimidate us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We got a hard swap. That's the rules. Got a hard swap here into our Rocky Helmet hit Paladon. Maybe drop an EQ on this bad boy. But we do got a Rocky Helmet. So this thing's going to hit us probably with like an extreme speed or something. No, it's going to go with a fire move. What am I talking about extreme speed? But Flamethrower is going to pop off here. And we'll be able to soak that up. Sandstream's going to pop off here. And then who else was he rocking? He could be rocking that Hydreigon. Go into that. I think I'm just going to drop a Stealth Rocks. I think safe play would be drop the Stealth Rocks because this thing is going to switch out. This thing is 100% going to switch out, knowing that I'm going to be dropping the EQ on him. Let's see. Flare Blitz comes out. Ooh, the recoil damage and the Rocky Helmet damage comes out. Eat that up. No problem. No problem. We'll eat that up. A okay, beautiful Rocky Helmet and then the recoil does come off. We're going to drop a Stealth Rocks here. And the Buffet comes out. Ooh, wee. Look at this. We didn't even touch him and we did some work on him. We're going to go straight into the Stealth Rocks here. Maybe I should have yawned. Maybe I should have yawned. But I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks. I'm going to set up my Rocks. I see him hard swapping out into maybe, like, who else was he rocking? Maybe the Rotom? No. No, no, no. I don't think he's bringing that bad boy. I don't think he's bringing that bad boy. Let's see what he does. Yo, look at Arcanine's eyes, dude. They were just, like, beating it on us. He was like, mwah. <laughs> well, let's go. What are you rocking, boy? What do you want? What do you want? There's the withdrawal. This is why I want to set up my beautiful, nice little stealth rocks. He's going to set out his Gyarados. 
Ah, uh, by me, buddy. Go to intimidate my boy. Intimidate him. Oh, here we go. Stealth Rock's coming out here. That's what I wanted. We could pop back over to that Ferrothorn and drop a Leech Seed. That could be the play call. Because the water move is going to come out. The water move is 100% going to come out. So, yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. Pokemon, go into our Ferrothorn and drop a Leech Seed. We can have the leftovers running and the Leech Seed running. Just sucking up that health, doing damage, just chipping away at these guys. Just absolutely chipping away at these guys. But there we go. We got our Stealth Rock set up. That was beautiful by me. I should get that off there. Well, I could have yawned. I could have yawned. Yawned could... Ooh-wee, baby, dude. D-Dance coming out here. This could be terrifying. This could be terrifying right here. His attack's going to raise and his speed. I can see him going for it again. I can see him going for it again. Not gonna lie, but Leech Seed is gonna come out here. Let's go. Leech Seed. Leech Seeding! Does he, does he Dynamax here? I could see it. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's the Dynamax. What is he gonna rock out into? Max Hailstorm? Potentially. Potentially the Max Hailstorm could come out here. My only problem, this guy is going to be the problem. He is the problem. If we can take him out, we got this win in the bag. I'm going to try to get this lead seat off here. And ho hopefully we can soak up this hit right here. It could be huge. That could be huge. But our Hippodon cannot do nothing against him. Nothing. He's going to roll out with the max airstream. This is going to drag a max airstream. Jesus, Lord. See you later, Ferrothorn. Nope. He's eating up. We'll get a lead seat off on him, which could be huge. This is probably our only way of taking this thing out. His speed is through the roof, man. Absolutely through the roof. There we go. Lead seed it. We're just going to have this thing um, seed it, get buffed it, and then we're going to roll out into our Grimstar. We're going to Dynamax him. Max guard one turn here. And then what's it called? And then uh, just try to go after him. That's the plan. That is the plan because we do have a lead seed. we got to take this thing out. This thing is a unit right now. Um, what are we going to go into? I guess just a power whip. I guess just a power whip because if we manage to get a hit off, which probably now this is just going to go right into a max airstream. Boost its speed up once again. And take out our Ferrothorn, but it is seated. And the Sandstorm will give it a nice little buff it. Nice little buff it. This will literally go off if we don't have an opponent on the field. You know what I'm saying? See, the Sandstorm does subside. It's bogus, man. But this Leech Seed, does it still do damage? If we don't have anyone on the field. But the Grimstorm is going to come out. We're going to have to drop a nice little Spirit Break. This thing is, is it a physical attack? Or what move did it throw out at us? Or did it just Dynamax right off the bat? I think it's just Dynamax. So I don't really know what it is. We're going to Dynamax here. And go straight into the Max Guard. We're going to go straight into the Max Guard. Waste his turns out. And then I think we're going to... Do we go into a Bulk Up? We could go into a Bulk Up. Try to... Um, no, we cannot. Because we're going to be Dynamax. We're just going to start throwing some Max Starfalls at him. Try and do some work on him. But there we go. Grim Snarl coming out here. Big Dog. Big Dog Grim Snarl. Dude, he's so good Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon. Okay, okay. Gotta come here. Gotta be calm. We're gonna drop this Max Guard here. Waste his Dynamax turn. Drop him down to little puny Gyarados now. <laughs> gonna go Max Geyser. Blocked. Blocked up. Leech Seed's gonna pop off here. We're gonna just take a little bit of damage off him. I could see him hard swapping out. I could see him hard swapping back to that Arcanine. Uh, no, no, I can't. What am I talking about? This guy's just, just gonna try to run us here. We're gonna go straight into a Max Starfall. Put that little mystical veil around us. All that beautiful stuff. Let's go. Waterfall's gonna come out here. We should be able to eat it. Oh my lord. Nice damage. Not gonna lie. But the Leech will actually help us heal up just a little bit. If we can take him down here, that'd be beautiful. Do some work. Let's go. Let's go. Just what I wanted. Now we got the advantage. We still have one more turn left with our Dynamax, which is beautiful. Who's he gonna send out? I don't really mind hard swapping either. Into my Hip on I think is an absolute unit. But we do have the rock set up. So whoever he throws in is gonna take some nice rock damage from our Hip on. We're looking, we're looking good right now. We're looking good. Just depends on who his third Pokemon is. It really just depends. I'm thinking maybe he brought, was he rocking a dragon? Was he rocking either Dragapult or something? Who is this? The Rotom Wash does come out. Wow. Bold play, buddy. Bold play. The rocks do dig into him. And what are we going to go for? Misty Terrain's already out. 91. There. Oh, we're going right here with this Max Starfall coming out here. I see this thing going into a Hydro Pump, but I see us eating up this thing's hit. He's going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. And he's dumb. The protective mist does help us out here. Beautiful. You guys gotta learn. You gotta learn, buddy. That that mist eats it eats us up. What's he gonna? What's he have? Oh, what's this thing? Leftovers? It's a leftovers Rotom? Wow. Wow, dude. Leftovers Rotom coming up big. Do we rock into a light screen or a drain punch? We're gonna go into a drain punch. Get a little bit more health back. Just a little bit more health. I'll take it. Hopefully we can take it out here. Get some health and all that good stuff. Who's going to go into a Hydro Pump? We will eat this up. We will eat this up. No prob. No prob. Hydro Pump. Nom, 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 nom. Eat that up. 
eat our berry. Beautiful. Trigger that berry. My boy. And get a drain punch off. If this can kill him, we will be back up in the green health with this drain punch. I'll be huge. No, it does not take him out. But we will get back up with this. This little drain punch. And we will be able to take him out. I'm going to go into another drain punch. Because drain punch should be able to take him out here from here. Oh, do we risk it? Oh, that's a close one. That's a real close one. Where do we go? It's spirit break. That's real close. That is real close. Hmm. This could lower his special attack, but... This does give us a little bit more HP. We're going to go into a Drain Punch, hoping that this this actually kills him. He's going to go into a Volt Switch. Wow, Drain Punch coming out into onto the Arcanine. Onto the Arcanine can do some work. That can do some work. Let's go. And then we have the Hippowdon. Oh my god, dude. We might have to hard swap into this Hippowdon. Our Hippowdon cannot kill that. What's it called? Oh, can we take out this thing? Our Hippowdon cannot kill that Rotom. It's Rock and Levitate, and we only have EQ on it. So we have to keep this Grimstar alive. We do have to keep this Grimstar alive. We are going to 100% hard swap into our, uh, what's it called? Our, um, Hippowdon. But the rocks will do more work to that thing. And we're rocking Rocky Helmet, so we might just go straight into a slack off here. Try to regain some health, but the Rocky Helmet should be able to take this thing out. Unless this thing goes for a Flare Blitz, that'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. Let's see, Grimstar is going to come back. We have to keep him alive. Luckily, I did think. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, who's our next Pokemon? Wait, we have Hippodon. His only attack move is that, what's it called? Is that, um... It's the e EQ. Close Combat's going to come out here. Can we eat that up? We do eat that up. Beautiful! Rocky Helmet's going to probably take this thing out with the Buffet of the Sandstorm. And we're just going to slack off here. We're just going to try to chip away damage here. With this guy. We're going to try to chip away with the, uh... The Sandstorm, but we do get a, what's it called? We do get the, uh, the Stealth Rocks damage. It's going to pop off here on, back on this, uh, Rotom. But, I don't know if he thinks that we're just rocking EQ. Maybe he might run this battle. This is, this is pretty close. Come on, take him out here. Do some work. Let's not do some work. Okay. Okay. We could yawn. I think that's the play. We're going to slack off and then yawn. Yeah, okay, we're gonna slack off then yawn, because if we can get this thing asleep, we can swap right into the Grimstar. Have no problem. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Eat it, eat it, buddy. Eat it, eat it. I need you to eat it. I need you to eat it. I need you to eat it. No! Does not eat it. Oh, my lord. This thing is close, and it will get its first shot off on us. He outspeeds us. Take him out. Oh! Oh! Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. We have to eat a shot here. We have to eat a shot. This is the closest battle ever. Can we eat up this shot, guys? Gonna eat up this shot, but this just goes to show that maybe we should have rocked out it with a different move with our hip out on. But then way we were dead. Um, does any move do anything differently? <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Oh my lord. <laughs> um, we're gonna just go into the drain punch. We just gotta land a move. We gotta eat up a hit. This thing outspeeds us. Can we do it? It missed! It missed! Oh, baby! Let's go. I think we were eating it up anyway, but that is the game. Let's go play that perfectly. Play that perfectly. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. This is how you play this team, baby. Let's get it. There we go, guys. That is how it's done. Whooping on all those teams right here. Here's one last look at this team. Remember, guys, if you did enjoy the content, help support me as a content creator by smashing that like button for me. Leaving a comment. If you guys have any questions or anything, make sure you let me know. I will respond to every single comment. And clicking that big red subscribe button. So you know when my videos go live, we upload every single day here. It is a blast. But here's one last look at the team. If you guys want to rent this team, rent the code is down at the bottom. But guys, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.